Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to take a drop down list and make a text box populate with some certain text in this short video. So I'm going to start by creating an, a form and I'll send you this form. Put a text field on the form and put a drop down field on the form. And for this example, I'll make the text field blank, no underline. And we need to put an option in here, so we'll just say the option that you wanted was 2917.11 disorderly conduct. So we'll just take that from your submission and then we want the text field to say did knowingly dot 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 I'll take that from your submission and go right back here so what we're going to do in the text or in the, in the drop down list is we're going to go to the binding tab and we're going to specify item values And that gives our first option a one value automatically, which is fine for this example. And we want to have that so that we don't have to type out all of this text in our JavaScript. All right. So this is the basic outline of what we need. We need all this stuff to do it. And you can come in here and, and change these text field names and drop down list names to be a little bit more intuitive if you want. I would normally do that on a big form. But for the sake of brevity, I'll leave that away. Okay, with the drop-down list highlighted, we want to go to the exit event. Make sure that JavaScript is chosen here. And we just want to type out a little if statement. If this dot raw value equals equals one, then we want to put in the conditional text field one dot raw value equals, and then we're going to paste in the text that you wanted, dig knowingly, dot, dot, dot. Now, one thing I want to do here is I want to make this field allow multiple lines and expand to fit so that it will grow as people type. And that's it. It's, it's as simple as that. So let's preview. And there it comes. Now, I will tell you this. If you wanted to add more than just one, to this drop down list. If you wanted to add a second, and let's just say 2918.11, you know, grand larceny. I don't know if I spelled that right. Make sure it has a value of something, which it will automatically, now that we've checked this specify item values box, it'll automatically give it a ne the next value. And then we can go to our, our script and just do the same thing all over again. We could say if this dot raw value equals equals two. Put whatever text we want in there. And so now both of them work. All right, I hope this helps you.